my sister, Sun Shannon Larson, her nickname was Sunshine. In 2007, they went for a seven mile hike and they didn't bring enough water and Shannon died of dehydration and complications of heat stroke. We wanted to do something in my sister's honor from her caring and helpful spirit. Grand Forks is the only major community in the state of North Dakota that doesn't have a hospitality home. They were saying, hey, this is really something that we need. We need a hospitality home in Grand Forks. People travel from outside of 100 to 150 miles all the time to come to Grand Forks. This home will minimally help 12,000 to 20,000 people every year. I was a neonatal transport nurse and I remember one time getting called out in the middle of the night to go to Devil's Lake area. I said, right now we don't know if their baby's going to live or die and the last thing they need to worry about is how to pay for a hotel. This family needs a place to stay so they can be nearby their baby and not have to worry about the cost. It just breaks my heart when you see families sleeping in their cars or not here because they can't be here because of the financial uh, burden of, of being here. This is really an invisible need. What's not invisible is Gate City and the community, right? I, I live in Fargo. I grew up in Grand Forks. They're a partner. I mean, you can tell that they're out in the community. They care about where they have banks. They care about where they live and where they, they care about the community that supports them. Gate City Bank was thrilled to be able to donate to this Sunshine Memorial Home is absolutely something we wanted to be part of. We felt passionate about being part of it. You know, the legacy for my sister, Shannon Sunshine, this project has been called the Sunshine Hospitality Home because others thought that it made sense since our foundation was called the Sunshine Memorial Foundation. But really, truly, what I believe is that the hundreds of people and the thousands of people along the way that have been impacted by this project, those are the people that are the legacy, right? My sister is just up in heaven, looking down on this project, thinking, wow.